Hey, what's up, everyone? Um, so I wanted to take a look at uh, abilities, take a look at what I have set, um, what I use a lot, what I don't use a lot, and even some of my regrets. Now, one thing I think that's really great about the ability setup in Odyssey is um, if you look right here, you can uh, reset your abilities and it's really not terribly expensive. Early on in the game, you know, uh, 5,900 drachmi is pretty expensive, but uh, later on in the game, uh, it's really not that much. So as you can see, I have 211,000. Um, this would uh, amount to 1.5% of my drachmi, less than that actually. Um, so here's a couple things that um, I look at. The, the reason I don't reset it, uh, because I only have a couple of regrets in the choices I've made for my abilities, and I don't want to like go back and like have to uh, knock all of them, uh, add all of them up. Um, so uh, a couple things I just want to cover before we get started. Here you can see your spear level. Uh, that increases when you get cultist artifacts and then go to the forge and upgrade your spear. Um, getting to spear level four requires seven cultist artifacts. Level five requires nine cultist artifacts. Um, and then level six uh, requires, I believe, 22 cultist artifacts. Um, yeah, so, um, when, what you'll notice uh, right out of the gate is that we have uh, hunter uh, damage, like we have uh, hunter here, we have uh, warrior, and we have assassin, not damage, sorry, uh, abilities. And uh, so these are all hunter related abilities and that's things that you're going to do with your bow plus uh, the animal taming. These are all warrior abilities and then these are all assassin abilities. Um, once you hit level 50, you will also um, unlock mastery levels. And when you go into mastery levels, you can see for hunter, warrior, and assassin abilities, you can upgrade them in, independently. So you can get 2%, uh, plus 2% assassin damage. The next level is plus 3.6% um, damage with daggers. Uh, so as you continue to go up in levels, um, because once these are maxed out or you've you've done the ones that you wanted and don't want to do anymore um, you might find better use for them um, so taking a look uh, first of all this this reign of destruction I want to address because this is my primary regret I wish there was just a, a, a toggle where I could like undo and like roll back uh, that would be great instead of having to reset all of my abilities. Uh, I don't use this. I've tried using it uh, multiple times and it just never actually triggers. Um, so uh, it's I just find it useless and it, it literally does not do anything. Uh, Multi-shot also um, I don't use. Uh, I've, I've upgraded it even once. Uh, if I could get th those two back and this one back, that would be great. Uh, as far as hunter abilities go, um, predator shot, this is great. This is very much like having the predator bow in Origins, where it's sort of like a zoom, but here it's an ability, um, and when you hit, uh, when you trigger this ability, and trigger the zoom function, you get a zoomed in look and you can see whether or not the bow, uh, a headshot is gonna to totally kill them or only do partial damage. Um, and you can see I've got this uh, maxed out because I use this a lot, especially um, uh, when I added this um, hunter specific loadout yesterday, you can see that hunter damage is uh, way up there that it's, it's just great. This predator shot is great. Spread shot, it's similar to multi shot. Multi shot, all the arrows will go to independent targets, but spread shot just spreads them out in like a little uh, range. I don't, I, I've never added it. I don't see a use for it because it, I don't find that you're going to have just a couple of people standing in the same spot often. Where it might be useful is if you're fighting. Um, legendary animals 
and you you need a bow to do, uh, I guess, triple the damage. Um, and as you upgrade that, that will, they would continue to do more and more damage, and they would probably add more arrows. Um, six cents snaps to I don't like the camera uh, moving on me when I'm playing um, and just like automatically change because I might be focusing on something and then the camera changes that just uh, it messes me up I hate it don't like it don't want it get it away from me uh, arrow master uh, so this just allows you to like craft different types of arrows right um, the first stage unlocks paralyzing arrows Second stage unlocks fire and poison arrows. Third stage unlocks explosive arrows. Um, there is also, if you look in your inventory um, here, uh, you'll see normal, paralyzing, uh, elemental being poison and fire, explosive. There's one more that I have yet to unlock. I don't know what it is. Uh, it's probably going to be some sort of magical arrow. Um, cool. I, awesome. Whatever. Um, yeah, multi-shot. Ah, I just I just upgraded it because uh, it was something I was doing. Uh, I haven't done tame animal because I found in Origins when I tamed the animal, it just really didn't do a whole lot for me, so I didn't bother to even try it in this game. Uh, Devastating shot is great. Um, it does a lot of damage, and uh, it's just really great. Uh, I actually think this, because you can see I have one ability point uh, now that I've just uh, gone up to level 63, I, this may this is my primary contender for what I'm about to use that ability point on. Uh, Archery Master, uh, it just increases your hunter damage um, and headshot damage. Uh, and when you're using hunter abilities, these are your hunter abilities, and you assign them in specific slots um, it doesn't consume uh, normal arrows when you're using that as it as it does earlier on in the game uh, earlier on when this is leveled down uh, overpower, overpower bow strike you can see uh, from the demonstration in the video that you just like it just like oh, an explosive uh, arrow that just like uh, and it takes a normal arrow and just like boom explodes on impact and if you use an explosive arrow it's awesome ghost arrows of artemis this is really great because it will fire through walls uh, i use this a lot when i am on top of a structure and there are people walking right below me i will uh, just aim down and fire at them so the arrows will basically be coming through the roof right into their head um, i like that or if they're right on the other side of a wall and I can get a headshot that knocks them out in one shot, boom, gone, done. Warrior abilities. Um, so this, uh, I mean, look at that video. That is so fun when you kick someone off a, a high uh, plateau or like I've, I have done uh, entire forts where I'm just like constantly kicking people. Now, the other great thing about this is that um, uh, as you see in the description, the target won't be killed and can be recruited afterwards. So I use this a lot when I'm fighting mercenaries um, or if I discover like a, a pole march or a captain or a commander uh, or leaders actually are, are really great. Um, fight them down and then uh, right before their power completely withers out, give them a kick because it's gonna knock them out but it's not going to kill them. And then you can recruit them to be lieutenants on your ship. And some of them are going to have like be legendary level um, uh, lieutenants for your ship. And that's really great. Uh, Bull Rush. Uh, I don't use this. Um, it, I, I guess it could be handy, but it's just, uh, it's just not my fighting style. It could be your fighting style. Charged uh, heavy attacks. Um, Charged attacks are, are great. I might. This is another contender uh, for my ability point. Um, I just don't use them that often because I'm much more uh, uh, an assassin level player. You can see I have a lot of these ranked up, uh, completely maxed out. Um, yeah, so charged heavy attack, not really something I used a lot. 
Um, and the same with Shield Breaker. I've got this basic Shield Breaker. It'll take their shield off. Um, but I'm just used to, when I see a shield, I just switch to a longer weapon, like a heavy blunt or a spear. Um, and I just I try to keep uh, short weapons like sh swords and daggers um, uh, assigned in my inventory, and then my secondary weapon being a longer weapon, such as an axe, a heavy blunt, or a spear, so that I can deal with uh, characters that are... Uh, wielding shields and can get past their shields. Uh, Weapons Master, uh, this just does so much more damage. It increases your crit chance. Um, this, uh, I would say earlier on in the game, is where you want to start. That would probably be the one of the first places that you would put an ability point because you're going to do damage faster earlier and that's uh, really great. Now the other thing to keep in mind um, and because of my spear is at level 5 it's not going to show but um, if I when you're upgrading abilities earlier on you can't necessarily get to um, the second level of the ability until you upgrade your spear. So um, that was one of the things I did very early, early on in the game was I upgraded my spear so that I could get my abilities uh, to a higher level. Uh, Gear Master is just, you know, you, you're taking care of your weapons, you're taking care of your armor, um, and uh, they just they stay in better shape and they do more damage. Second Wind, uh, this is great. I have started to use this a lot because um, obviously I'm not great at games. I'm not the world's best gamer. Um, so uh, I will, when I'm in a fight and I am <laughs> losing bad, I will turn tail and run the other direction. And uh, hopefully I have adrenaline, um, like at least one adrenaline so that I can like refresh your energy. This maxed out, it gives me 50% max health. And you can use this multiple times if I go back and, and hit someone um, and it's like rebuilding my adrenaline, then I can like get my uh, second wind multiple times. It's not just once. Uh, Ring of Chaos uh, just uh, creates sort of a confusing blast and it stuns them and then you can attack them. Uh, yeah, I don't use this. I could see I've been in multiple situations where this can be handy, but I think when you're in those situations and you're being swarmed by four or five characters, uh, at least for me, it's difficult to like uh, go, oh, I have this assigned and um, then I need to switch over to, uh, you know, the second tier number three. And, and it's just so I don't use it. It's uh not it does doesn't fit my style of play um okay here flaming attacks uh this is uh cool i have it maxed out uh this allows your weapon to do fire damage i don't use this because i have a kit that is a, specifically a fire kit and uh, i'll just load this up and show you the weapons here so this weapon um uh we'll i'll come back here and just hover uh, you can see it does plus 24% fire damage and weapon damage becomes fire damage. So this this weapon, when it hits, it's always doing fire damage. And then I engraved this one to say weapon damage becomes fire damage um, so that whenever I'm hitting with this kit enabled, um, that it's doing uh, significant fire damage. So I no longer use this. I just don't need it it's a waste of adrenaline for me um, and I don't necessarily regret it because I used it early on but I just no longer need it um, this however um, you do need to unlock this in order to you do need to uh, add this ability in order to unlock this ability of fire mastery. So now, now the fire mastery is great. I need that maxed out for my kit uh, because it, the buildup is increased by 60%. The duration is increased by six seconds and the fire damage itself is increased by 40%. So I've got that uh, maxed out and it is awesome. Lower levels will be lower percentages, um, but uh, I maxed it out because my I have that fire kit. Now, uh, this overpower attacks, I use this a lot. 
Um, I have it assigned to the letter G on my uh, keyboard for get some, and uh, it just like starts slicing and dicing, as you can see in the little video there. Um, now the great thing about this too is if you're doing an overpower attack and you're surrounded by two or three characters, when one character, when you're done <laughs> attacking one character, and this is great in the arena if you're fighting in the arena, um, you can just uh, turn your uh, aim, turn your camera, and hit uh, F. For me, it's F to continue chaining that attack. Uh, if you're using a controller, it's going to be different, obviously. Battlecry of Ares. I haven't used this yet. It seems like it would be great. Uh, it just like does so much more damage for a certain period of time. Um, this is not. Uh, I I would definitely put uh, my uh, ability point here before that, and I would put it. Um, yeah, devastating shot uh, before I put it there. So devastating shot at the top of my list. Um, Okay, going over to assassin abilities. Uh, these are really great. Shadow assassin. I like it's it's Assassin's Creed, right? I don't know why like assassinating isn't front and center. There's been a uh, much greater emphasis on warrior stuff. Uh, I find lately in the boating and the hunter, and those are great. I love all aspects of those games. You can play the game whatever fits your style. That's what I think is really great about this. Um, uh, you know, I see people complaining online about certain aspects of the game and lost this or it, it added this. But I think there's just so many the way it exists now. There are so many ways for you to play it and enjoy it to your specific style. And I really love the RPG mechanics here. Um, uh, I didn't think I was going to like them uh, as much uh, when I started playing this as I did for Origins. Um, but I, I actually like these a lot better because you can really focus on what fits your style of play. And so that's what I do. So S Shadow Assassin, um, I sneak up on people a lot. I wait for them to walk under me a lot. Um, e is a knockout for me, uh, or you can assassinate. If, if you also hold the assassinate button, you'll see sometimes you'll walk up behind people and it'll get the option of like, uh, heavy stealth attack or critical assassinate sometimes you might if you hold that button down it's going to do more damage than if you just tap it um, and uh, it, it just sometimes you need to do that in order to take someone out so that's what I do with mercenaries I always sneak up behind them and hold that F button down to do a critical assassinate or a critical stealth attack um, if it's going to crit, it's going to do so much more damage. And then you can see crit damage is increased by 50% with uh, this maxed out, with this ability maxed out. Um, coming over here, uh, Venomous Attacks. This is uh, increases your poison ability. And, and you can see by the line, it's also linked uh, to Poison Mastery. So you have to activate uh, Venomous Attacks before you can unlock Poison Mastery level one even. Um, but uh, in my Assassin kit, you'll see here that my primary weapon has does poison damage and the weapon damage becomes poison damage. So every strike is, and because these are daggers, every strike is delivering poison and, and with daggers, you're constantly hitting them very, very quickly. Um, and you just want uh, to do as much damage as possible and the the poison mastery allows that it's v exactly the same as fire mastery with the same percentages level same percentages percentage levels uh, sorry um, yeah venomous attacks um, it's the same as flaming attacks right so those are your two elementals uh, and as you can see poison is a an assassin ability because uh, fire will give away your position it will also set fire to things poison's not going to give away your position and it's not going to set uh it's not going to you're not going to get poisoned from poison attacks whereas you can 
use your fire attacks in a way that it sets your surroundings on fire and then sets you on fire. Not good. So um, I don't use this ability. I don't even have it assigned. Um, I just put those elements on the weapons themselves. I don't even think I have fire attacks. Yeah, I don't have flaming attacks assigned either. Um, but do need to uh, have it in order to unlock the mastery levels of them. Uh, Revelation, this is your ability to discover things around you. Obviously, this is a standard Assassin's Creed mechanic. You want to be able to uh, detect where your loots are. And um, as you get higher and higher, you will be able to see uh, enemies on the other side of walls, things like that. And, and as you increase this ability, it increases the range that you can discover things. Uh, pretty self-explanatory. Rush assassination. I use this uh, a lot. Um, so it, like you can see from the videos, it just like it throws the spear and will assassinate people. Um, if you're attacking someone who has, is like an elite character, it may not assassinate them. It may just do critical damage and then you're gonna find yourself in a melee scuffle uh, right away. But um, yeah, this is great. This is why you should have separate kits and you should use your uh, assassination kit when you're using this ability. Uh, critical assassination, again, I use this a lot. As you can see in the video, you're sneaking up behind people, you hold it down and it deals 300% assassination damage. 300% assassination damage. Now when you look at my assassination kit, my assassination damage right now is at 173,000. So it does three times that. Uh, so you're looking at almost 500,000 damage uh, with a critical assassination. Um, and it's still not enough to kill some characters, right? Uh, Hero Strike, I use this pretty regularly. Uh, and w the reason this is considered an assassin ability is because it, it uses your assassin damage. It doesn't use your melee damage when you are in a fight. So if I'm uh, attacking someone and doesn't kill them, then I will try to use that ability right away because it's going to use my assassin damage if I'm in my assassin uh, loadout. Uh, if I'm in my fire loadout and I use it, it'll still do damage, but uh, it's not going to do as much damage, right? And then um, it is it is uh, the equivalent of your over kind of like your overpower attack in uh, your warrior abilities and your uh, heavy shots like your maybe your spread shot and your predator shot. Uh, Stealth master. Um, this reduces the noise you make when you are moving around in your environment and um, allows, uh, decreases the detection uh, of your character by enemies um, at a distance. So it's, uh, it's an important ability to be an assassin. Um, here's ones that I don't have assigned, Shadow of Nyx. This basically allows you to become invisible when there's no like tall grass or environment around and you just want uh, characters to walk by you. It looks like it uses a lot of adrenaline. Um, so uh, it's not something that I want to use. It's not something I felt like, oh, I wish I had that ability. Um, and I don't. So it doesn't bother me. It doesn't affect my style of play. Um, and uh, it's great. Uh, vanish. Um, this is just like there's a. It's another sort of stun ability, similar to uh, Ring of Chaos. Ring of Chaos stuns them. Uh, vanish uh, stuns them, uh, but it doesn't allow you to attack. So if you attack them, it's going to break their stun. It just allows you to like get out of the way, get out of the sight, and then have them go. Whoa, where did he go? Um, Cool, call to arms. You have lieutenants on your ship. Um, you uh, open more lieutenant slots as you go through the game. You'll start with one, um, but that ability will allow you to call an attendant, a lieutenant um, in the same way that you would call uh, Icarus to distract or harass uh, a character. 
so it's uh, it can be helpful. I could see it being helpful, uh, but it can also I guess that lieutenant just comes in and and kills them, uh, so you don't even have to go and fight them. Uh, could be cool. Uh, I don't know. Maybe I'll uh, assign that and check it out. Uh, I have really great lieutenants now. Um, slow time, you know, it's bullet time. You can move really fast while everyone else is just sort of uh, stunned. It's like being in the matrix. Um, yeah, and then when you get your abilities, you assign them to uh, specific slots here. Uh, that's something you figure out quickly. Um, and these are, are they're not really abilities. These just allow you to, uh, you, oh, you and, and these ones that are numbered here, you don't upgrade them. They upgrade over time as you go through the game. Um, so uh, again, with the uh, master abilities, uh, I think I think that that's something maybe I'll save for another video. We can get a little more in depth with them. Um, but that is how to use abilities in Assassin's Creed Origins. And um, I hope that was helpful. Uh, so, uh, if you like this uh, video, if it was helpful for you to give it a like, uh, subscribe to the channel. Uh, you can also, uh, I've got a Discord server that I've set up called The Hidden Ones. Um, the link is in the description below. Check it out. Um, and uh, I hope to see you there. Uh, subscribe and uh, hit that uh, notifications. Thanks. Bye-bye.